Opening to the light. When people ask for your help, you simply say yes. How do you help them? Mother Mira, there are different lights which serve different purposes. I send whichever light is needed. What are the different lights and what are the characteristics of each? Mother Mira, golden and white lights are the lights of Paramatman and are the main ones. The other lights belong to avatars, gods, and goddesses. The light of Durga is red and is characterized by power. The blue light is Krishna and is the light of knowledge and love. Violet light is for physical health. Green is the color of the life force in the material world. Orange is the color of sacrifice, the color of the sannyasins. How can a devotee be the most receptive to your light? Mother Mira, when people have a silent mind, they will receive more. When they are restless, they cannot feel what I am giving. I give what I can and what the person needs anyway. But if the person is silent, he or she can become aware of the process. I get the impression from reading the mother that there is a specific moment when one receives any of the lights, the supramental or paramatman. Isn't one always receiving them to some degree? Mother Mira, humans do not receive the light continuously, but only at special moments, such as in darshan. During pranam and darshan, the action of the light is to create a balance between worldly and spiritual life. Apart from darshan, there are rare moments of reception to the light that bring the devotee rapid spiritual growth. How do we receive the light, and what do we feel when we receive it? Mother Mira, people receive it in many ways. Some receive it through the head, some through the fingers. What do details matter? It is the effect that matters, an unmistakable and extraordinary lightness and happiness and peace. The supramental light can burn slightly when you receive it. The supreme light does not hurt. You can receive the light anywhere and at any time, knowing that, open to it without delay, there is no time to waste. At what stage of the spiritual practice do we perceive the Paramatman light directly? Mother Mira, I cannot say at what level you will be when you see it. It depends on your strong aspiration to see it and also on the maturity of your practice. It is the aim of human beings to see the Paramatman light, first to see it and then to merge with it. What blocks us from perceiving the light? Mother Mira, you have your duties and cannot concentrate only on the Paramatman light. When the time comes, nothing will stop you from seeing it. Can you describe the experience of opening to the light? Mother Mira, the light always brings happiness. The light can enter through any part of the body and can be felt in many ways. We cannot generalize. People may feel pain at first or may not feel it in the body at all. The results of the light entering are many. You experience happiness even if you were suffering before. When you work, you do so without strain and attachment. Although you don't feel that you are doing anything, the results of the work will be good. You have less enthusiasm for work, but you can accomplish more because the work goes easily. Sometimes the light comes with such intensity, I feel that I will not survive. Mother Mira, the light always works within one's limit. Does your light itself bring understanding? Mother Mira, those who come to me for darshan receive whatever they need. Knowledge does not necessarily come with the light. When our devotion, surrender, and humility grow deeper and deeper, the knowledge will come from Paramatman and will make things clearer and clearer. What is the relationship of peace and bliss to the light? Mother Mira, they come from the light. Which ones you experience depends on your personality, your past karma, your state of consciousness, and which path is yours, bhakti, karma, jnana, and so forth. 
How can I open to those aspects of the light, peace and bliss, that I don't currently experience? Mother Mira, meditate. Do japa on one of the names of the divine. This can be done anywhere. As we understand more, does our karma lessen? Mother Mira, yes. The more you go into the light, the less your karma becomes, and when you realize yourself, it disappears. Aspects of the Path Is everything in this yoga really done by the Divine? Mother Mira, yes. Everything comes from the top down. Why do you teach in silence? Mother Mira, people want lectures. I give them silence. For the mind to flower, it has to go beyond what it knows. Is the rhythm of your silence also the rhythm of the force of nature itself? Mother Mira, it is the same. There is only one real rhythm. In silence you hear it. When you live to the rhythm of this silence, you become it slowly. Everything you do, you do to it. What is the relationship of your silence to my or any devotee's development? Mother Mira, I do not speak, but my force changes people completely. The power of the divine works in the silence and will change things according to your aim and what you ask for. Sometimes I can give immediately what you have requested. Sometimes it takes time. Some people ask for each and every small thing, and others ask and go on asking. It depends on the individual. However, whether you ask or not is not important. I will give what is necessary. It seems that when we surrender to you, we enter a great force field in which our reality is very quickly and dramatically transformed to show us what we need to understand. Would you say something about this? Mother Mira, when you come into my presence or into connection with me, your development speeds up and your karma becomes less. Because of my power, you can learn more in one life and can see more clearly and calmly so that understanding comes easier. I give the light to show you what you need to know. As you grow, you will see your defects more clearly. This is due to the grace of the divine. What is the best way to follow your inner teaching? Mother Mira, be like a child, clear, loving, spontaneous, infinitely flexible, and ready each moment to wonder and accept a miracle. The pain that comes on this path is very precise, isn't it? Mother Mira, yes, it lasts only as long as is necessary. My way is the way of joy. Any pain that comes is to make you understand the nature of joy more deeply and bring you into joy. Sometimes I get an image of you burning away my soul. Mother Mira, no, your soul is always with me. I am burning the casing around your soul. The light burns that so the soul can be free. You must desire the fire to say and do its work. This desire makes the wood dry. If it is not dry, it will take longer to become fire. How can I realize who am I? Mother Mira, give up that I and you will know. What daily discipline helps us realize the divine? Mother Mira, remember the divine in everything you do. If you have time, meditate. Offer everything to the divine, everything good or bad, pure or impure. This is the best and quickest way. Is your method so simple because your power as an avatar is so vast? Mother Mira, yes. Many people find that a complicated method is difficult to follow. Is our development much faster when we are devoted to an avatar such as you? Mother Mira, it depends on the level of devotion, but with an avatar, everything is possible. Does this yoga require a retreat from the world? Mother Mira, not at all. What is required is a synthesis 
and balance of the outer and inner lives. What is spirituality? Mother Mira, to have spirituality is to love, aspire to, remember, surrender to the divine. To have spirituality does not mean that one should not have a full life in the world. One should not leave the world, but the divine should come first. How can one do God's work? Mother Mira, in silence you give yourself to Him and He works through you. God is always working through you. The important thing is to become conscious and cooperate. This is done through surrender, love, and the desire to serve with your whole being that springs from real love and the knowledge of God's glory that the love of God brings. It can take a long time to learn how to give oneself or it can take no time at all. It depends on the soul's ripeness. Could you describe a ripe devotee? Mother Mira, when people are open and full of worldly and spiritual experience, they are ripe for realization and the merging in the divine. Devotees who live around a great master often think that they are the elect. Mother Mira, Everyone here thinks that he or she is special. But to be special, you have to know you are nothing. Could you describe the quality of trust toward the divine that is needed in this yoga? Mother Mira, be simple. Be like a child. The child does not know where the mother is going, but loves the mother and lets her carry him, knowing that the mother will never harm him. Some devotees say, we do nothing, mother does everything for us. Is this the highest wisdom or just laziness? Mother Mira, it is not the right way. It is a way of escaping what we have to do. In your book, The Mother, you said, hurry, hurry, awaken, be conscious, come forward and help the world. The earth is waiting for the light. How can we hurry? Mother Mira, Be less concentrated on worldly life. Turn single-mindedly to God. Continue with your duties, but devote yourself entirely to God. How can we know if we will reach the divine? Mother Mira, each person knows how much time he is devoting to the divine and how much he surrenders. Can I reach the divine through art or work? Mother Mira, don't go to the divine through anything. Go directly. Realize yourself and see that everything you do is filled with light. Don't live for your work only. Live for Him and do your work in Him and for Him. If you surrender to Him truly, it will no longer be you who does the work, but God who does it through you. You will become a channel for His power and His will and His light. This takes time and a great purity of heart and motive. Would you describe the inner condition of someone who is spiritually open? Mother Mira, to be open means to receive like a child, simply, with no constructions, no mind. Open people are not rigid. They accept everything and have broad views. Spiritually open people automatically help others, no matter who they may be. Open people may live in various ways. One may be content to have a family and make its members happy. Another may leave his or her family and be a sannyasin. Another may remain in the family but feel detached and so helps others also. Are there any bodily conditions, such as spine damage, that can block a spiritual opening? Mother Mira, no physical defects can block a spiritual unfolding. What can we do to open further to the Mother? Mother Mira, you have to pray wholeheartedly, do japa to divine personalities or a guru, and be sincere. How important is relaxation to spiritual opening? Mother Mira, being relaxed and peaceful is the most important thing for opening. When you are restless, you cannot open to the divine. 
What is the importance of discipline in spiritual life? Mother Mira, having discipline helps in the development of the integral life, worldly, psychological, mental. It is easier to live in the world if we have discipline. How important is patience in your work? Mother Mira, patience is essential. If you are a gardener, you know that once you have put a plant in, you have to respect the laws of nature and wait. To believe is not enough. Don't we have to know? Mother Mira, belief is only the beginning. To be strong, you must see. Then you can bear anything and do anything. Then the work can be done simply. What is needed is the awareness of unity at all moments. From that come love and truth and divine power. How do ethics relate to spiritual development? Mother Mira, if you hate someone, you cannot grow, so you must change the hate into love. If you have negative feelings, you are not loving, and without love you cannot open to the divine. Is curiosity an adequate reason to come to see you? Mother Mira, absolutely not. I want people to come because they are inspired from the heart to come, not because they are curious. This is serious work. Why do you have no rules for your devotees? Mother Mira, what use is it telling people anything? Often they disagree and rebel. People must be strong in themselves. I say nothing, but my light changes people inwardly and helps them discover what they really want and need. The important thing is to pray and to receive light. That in itself will change you. When the heart opens to God, the rules follow. All people have their own rules for their own stage of understanding. What is necessary is to follow me inside. Then you will know what to do and how to act at all times. Do you expect your devotees to be a certain way? Mother Mira, I want you to be completely yourself. Everyone is unique for me. Everyone grows in a different way, has different needs. I respect everyone as himself or herself. When you know that you are eternal, you can play your true role in time. When you know you are divine, you can become completely human. When you know you are one with God, you are free to become absolutely yourself, individual and holy and my child. The Rhythm of the Path What are the stages of the path? Mother Mira, it is better not to say. People may think wrongly that they are at one stage or another and may thereby delude themselves. As people grow, they will know how far they have come in their development. Their own experience will tell them how far they have reached and how far they still have to reach. Is there suffering at every stage of the path? Mother Mira, in one way, yes. But joy becomes greater than pain, and pain becomes joy because it is offered and understood. It seems that a further stage of this yoga unfolds just when one thinks one is done. Mother Mira, you must stop nowhere. The development on your path seems almost musical, with themes that return. Mother Mira, in the end, you and reality will be one, one music, always changing and always the same. You will be playing yourself. I will be always tuning you. There is no end to real knowledge, is there? Because there is no end to the journey into God. Mother Mira, yes, no end. One common mistake is to think that one reality is the reality. You must always be prepared to leave one reality for a greater one. Traditional Paths and the Way of the Mother All the gods, all the paths, all the revelations are in the mother. Does this mean that anyone in the world from whatever background can be taught by you and awakened to the divine within the terms of their own religion or lack of it? 
Mother Mira, yes, my light is everywhere. Which is true, the Hindu sense of God as eternal presence, or the Buddhist awareness of reality as emptiness? Mother Mira, both are true. God is everything and nothing. I believe in Jesus. Must I stop believing in Him and believe in you? Mother Mira, whomever you believe in, believe with all your heart. All divine incarnations are equal. Be sincere, open, and my help will be given to you always. The Buddha taught that it was the doctrine itself that liberated and that a guru can only point the way. Can you, as an avatar, give direct experience of God? Mother Mira, yes. How should a jnani or pakta approach your path? Mother Mira, the jnani and pakta approach the divine in their own way. If they come to me, I will help, and they can continue on their path. As an avatar, I have no special path, but come to give grace and power to those on all paths. Only in the sense that I give darshan do I have a path, but people of all paths can receive help from me whether or not they come to darshan. In the Hindu tradition, animals are not allowed in the puja room. What is your opinion on this matter? Mother Mira, for the divine there is no caste. Therefore, animals can come to the puja room. Sometimes animals open much better than humans. They can concentrate more fully because they don't have conceptual minds. Is it best to explore several paths and then choose one? What should one look for in choosing the most suitable path? Mother Mira, each person has his or her own path. Choose the one that is easy, convenient, and that comes spontaneously. The choice is influenced by one's past and by familiar practices. Darshan Why is darshan performed so simply, without singing, for example? Mother Mira, people are too active and rarely sit quietly. In silence, one can receive more because all one's activities become concentrated at one point. My teaching is to give only the essence, the divine, that which is necessary. I give exactly what is needed by each person. Paramatman is silent. God is silent. Everything comes out of silence. In silence, more work can be done. The true experience of bliss is without words. When we have your darshan, we do pranam, bow down, in front of you, and you take our heads between your hands. What are you doing? Mother Mira, on the back of the human being is a white line running up from toes to the head. In fact, two lines start from the toes rise along the legs, join at the base of the spine, and then become a single line reaching to the top of the head. This line is thinner than a hair and has some knots in it here and there, which divine personalities help to undo. It is very delicate work, and great care has to be taken to undo the knots, as there is danger for your life if the thread is broken. When I hold your head, I am untying these knots. I am also removing other kinds of obstacles to your sadhana, your practice. When I touch your head, the light moves upwards in the white line. It indicates, like a meter, the development of your sadhana. When there is no progress, the light moves downwards along the line, showing the degree to which your sadhana has deteriorated. When the light is continuous from the toes to the top of the head, The person may have many experiences and visions, although some people have visions and experiences without this white line. When the line gets to the top of the head, people have the Paramatman Darshan. When the line has gone above the head, then there is constant relation with Paramatman. If your aspiration weakens, the line moves downwards, as I said. One day you might even fall from your sadhana. This is a great crisis, which can, however, be prevented. In the front of the body are two red lines starting from the toes, growing gradually upwards on either side of the legs, 
intending to meet at the base of the spine, where the white lines become a single line. If the red lines reach the white line, you will achieve absolute detachment. This rarely happens, and only to those who have the divine shakti. By the growth of the white and red lines, the sadhana will be established permanently, without possibility of a fall. If the red lines develop fully, you will reach great heights. The white lines will also help to support the experiences of those who have a psychic opening. Even when there is a psychic opening, there is still the possibility that it will close. The opening of the psychic is effective for sadhana, but it is not enough. The establishment of the white and red lines will help you to keep the psychic continually open. If the psychic can be compared to a flower, the lines are the plant itself. When we have done pranam, we look into your eyes in silence. What are you doing? Mother Mira, I am looking into every corner of your being. I am looking at everything within you to see where I can help, where I can give healing and power. At the same time, I am giving light to every part of your being. I am opening every part of yourself to light. When you are open, you will feel and see this clearly. What do you see when you look into people's eyes during darshan? Mother Mira, I see the difficulties in their lives and the obstacles to their sadhana. How does the work that you do during pranam differ from that during darshan? Does it work on a different part of the being? Mother Mira, the work of each is different. During pranam, the work is on the deep aspect of the being, the soul, while darshan helps the personality and the life situation. In darshan, do you always use the light to do your work, or do you also work in some other way? Mother Mira, it is with the light alone that my help comes. What parts of the human receive your light? Mother Mira, I give light to the mental, vital, and physical bodies. I have the impression that when there are more people at darshan, there is also more light and power. Why is this? Mother Mira, some people feel more light when there are less persons and others feel the contrary. This is only according to their mentality, but the light is the same always. You have spoken of working with the developing white and red lines in the body. Are these the same as or related to the Shashumana, Ida, and Pingala, and the development of the Kundalini? Mother Mira, they are different. In the Kundalini system, one develops the chakras one at a time, but these lines help the whole being. When I undo the knots in them, this aids in the development of the entire being, not just certain parts. Only divine personalities can see these lines. Human beings cannot. The lines are not related to the human personality. They show the evolution of the soul itself. Is it necessary to awaken the Kundalini? Mother Mira, when the light descends in the body, it is not necessary. Please describe the knots. Mother Mira, doubt would be an example of a knot. In this case, I would help clarify the doubt and give faith. As I understand it, you do not untie the knots all at once, but rather slowly. Does a devotee feel the effects of the knots being loosened, or does he or she not feel the results until the knots are completely untied? Mother Mira, the devotee can feel effects from the loosening of the knots. The knots are loosened slowly, because to do so quickly could be dangerous. Is it important to have many darshans to help loosen the knots? Mother Mira, it does not depend on the number of darshans. It depends on your sincerity, aspiration, and love. Is the process quickened by darshan? Mother Mira, yes, aspiration plus darshan is helpful. 
Is there any such thing as a bad or good darshan? Mother Mira, there is no such thing as a bad darshan. To think so is wrong, harmful, and dangerous. Darshan is completely impersonal from my side. I give what is needed. Reactions depend upon the people who take, not the mother who gives. Try not to impose on me your difficulties and to project on me your own hidden problems. Have the courage to face your own weaknesses and know that I am giving you help continually. In what way can I be most open during darshan? Mother Mira, with silent mind and good concentration, pray to the divine to open you. If you can do this, you will feel the consequences of what I am giving to you. You won't receive more, but you will feel it more. When it is my turn for pranam and darshan, I have palpitations and erratic emotions. What can I do? Mother Mira, offer it all to the divine. Be patient. These emotions will go. When we feel the force in darshan, how can we enter more deeply into it? Mother Mira, the force will come and go on its own. You can pray that it returns and stays with you. How can I open to your energy as quickly as possible? Mother Mira, people do not open as quickly as possible. You must try, and I will help you. Be patient. How can we prepare ourselves to receive darshan? Mother Mira, there is nothing special to do. In darshan, one tries to sit silently with no thoughts. To do this, one needs to be peaceful. You speak of sitting silently in darshan with no thoughts, but I often pray. Is this all right? Mother Mira, silence means to sit physically quiet and to pray to God for the divine and to do japa. Silence is a calm mind. It is better to sit silently than to leave immediately after darshan. Is there something special that we should try to do after darshan? Is there a way to prolong the blessing received during darshan? Mother Mira, be quiet. It is better not to rush out into another activity. Where did you learn the gestures of darshan? Mother Mira, they came. Has anybody ever worked in the same way as you do? Mother Mira, each one has his or her own way of doing things. We cannot compare. Do you have discomfort in darshan? Mother Mira, no, it is the best joy. Do you feel our pain, joy, and suffering in darshan? Mother Mira, yes. How can I thank you for what you are giving me? Mother Mira, you are receiving. That is thanks. That is a great thing. Darshan at a distance. How important is it to come to Schloss Schaumburg to receive darshan from you? Mother Mira, it is not necessary to come stay with me. I can help anywhere. People can come, but if this is not possible, it is unnecessary for them to become tense about it. The physical contact is one way of giving the light, but it is not so important for me. However, when people come here, they feel the presence more concretely. With or without touch, we can get the light. Some people who live far away cannot come for pranam and darshan. Can your work on them be done at a distance? Mother Mira, pranam and darshan is possible only if you come physically, but my help and blessings are possible even at a distance. Can even the physical be transformed at a distance without the physical touch? Mother Mira, yes, it is possible. When devotees are far away, can you see the state of their red and white lines? And do you continue to loosen the knots at a distance? Is pranam necessary for this work? 
Mother Mira, I can see the red and white lines from far away and can loosen the knots wherever the devotees are. As long as there is aspiration, the work can be done. But when the devotees are here, they feel the presence strongly, and this helps them. Does your force need your directed attention in order for it to work? Mother Mira, no, it works automatically. The light works by itself. I dreamed I received your darshan. Do you give darshan at night? Mother Mira, I'm giving darshan always, everywhere. Inner Contact What should we do to receive your light and help when you are not with us physically? How can we find the constant inner contact with you? What should we do to progress in our practice, our sadhana? Do you expect anything from those who put in your hands the direction of their life and their sadhana? Mother Mira, concerning sadhana, you must do japa when you want to receive my light and help when I am not physically with you. Only through japa do you have constant inner contact with me. If you want to make any progress in the sadhana, you must practice japa. This is the easy way to remember the divine. I do not expect anything from any human beings, but when they are sincere and serious in their sadhana, it gives me happiness. Most people who come to you see you only in darshan. What is the best relationship that they can then develop with you? Mother Mira, the best way to be near me is to remember me. Similarly, to remember the divine brings the presence. Love, sincerity, and aspiration connect us to the divine. Although I live far away from you, yet I feel your presence strongly and concretely. Is it true or simply imagination? Mother Mira, it is true. Those who have real aspiration for the divine, wherever they may be in the world, will receive my help and my light. As a result, the realization will go faster. During the day when we feel the pressure of your presence, in the heart chakra or the head, for example, should we stop what we are doing and pay immediate attention to it? Mother Mira, the presence comes and goes by itself. If possible, you can stop your activity to concentrate on it, but whether or not you pay attention to it, it will do as it will. You can aspire for it to come more often. Could you describe the relation of your mind to that of the devotee? Mother Mira, when the devotee has doubts, I give light to the mind to see things clearly. This is an ordinary and simple thing for me to do. It is not that I read his or her mind, but when something is not clear, I will make it clearer. How do you know the condition of a person at some distance away? Mother Mira, I see. Is a photo of Mother useful? Adi Lakshmi replied, Yes, the picture of Mother is not simply a picture. Part of the Divine is there. Mother's power is there. You are actually seeing Mother when you look at the picture. What is the best way to communicate with you? Mother Mira, the soul connection is best. It is best to feel it inside. But you can also write. How best can we follow your inner teachings? Mother Mira, when you become aware that there is something you need to understand, ask me inwardly, quite simply, with love and surrender, and I will teach it to you. When you are no longer in the body, will people be able to pray to you and connect with you? Mother Mira, yes, always. Some people say they hear your voice interiorly, in their minds, guiding them. Is it truly you who speaks? Mother Mira, usually not. I recommend that people neither pay attention to nor determine their actions on the basis of such voices. 
as it is difficult to tell where these voices come from. However, when devotees are in extreme situations, danger for example, the guiding voice they hear is more likely to be my own. Should we listen to an inner voice that warns us when we are making or about to make a wrong movement? Mother Mira, it is not always good to follow the inner voice. One must also look at the circumstances and use common sense. I have the feeling that you send messages to me through X. Mother Mira, yes, it is often like that, that other people deliver the words that a devotee needs to hear. I feel that you are ripening me, inspiring everything in my development. Is it so? Mother Mira, you are letting it happen. That is a great thing. I can give everything, but you must want everything. I can give many things even before you know you want them, but when you know, it is quicker and more joyful. Could you give me a symbol? Mother Mira, isn't the joy in your heart symbol enough? Meditation and Japa Is formal meditation important? Mother Mira, Yes, to meditate a half an hour or an hour is good. But if one becomes fanatical, wants to leave one's job, live alone and meditate 24 hours a day, that is not good. What kind of meditation should we do? Mother Mira, close your eyes and sit in silence and do japa on any divine name. What is japa? Why is it so important? Mother Mira, Japa is the repetition of the name of that in which we believe. Japa is essential. Japa is not simple words. Each divine name is full of divine vibrations. These surround us and protect us and penetrate both our bodies and our whole inner being. Remembrance of the divine name gives immediate peace and happiness and turns us from the worldly to the divine. There is no special and limited time for Japa. It is very good to do japa all day. If this is not possible, then remember whenever it is possible. We can practice japa during all activities. It is easier to remember when we do physical work without mental work. This japa helps us to purify our consciousness and make our sadhana easy. How should we say japa? Mother Mira, simply, just say it. In doing japa, One should not strain or try to achieve something specific. One should try to be sincere and to have love of God. The power immediately follows, whether you are aware of it or not. Would you explain the power of the name? Mother Mira, each syllable of a divine name, such as Krishna or Jesus, has vibrations which change the atmosphere. Any object that we think about repeatedly generates its own vibration. Even though mantras are strong and powerful, we may not feel the effects immediately, but results will come. One can feel the differences in the vibrations of words. Using the word, one can make things change. Is it necessary to wait for a guru to give a mantra, or may one find a mantra on one's own? Mother Mira, whichever mantra comes to you easily and spontaneously is the one you should do. It should give a strong feeling and be like music flowing from the heart. I don't have a fixed japa. At different times, different forms of the divine, such as Shiva or Krishna, come into my mind and I sing the appropriate mantra. Is doing this all right? Mother Mira, Yes, whatever appeals at the moment is all right. One doesn't have to have a fixed mantra. When I repeat your name, is it necessary to say the mantra as given in the mother, or can I just repeat Mother Mira, or simply Mira? Mother Mira, either is sufficient. 
In meditation on a form of the divine, is it enough to just have the feeling of the divine, or must one say the mantra as well? Mother Mira, it is enough to have the feeling, but it is good to mentally repeat the name of the divine as well, because doing this trains the mind and heart. What are the different stages of meditation? Mother Mira, when you first try to meditate, thoughts come. Then they cool down. Next, you see some visions. Then the mind becomes empty. Some people think that there is nothing there and stop meditating. But if you continue, you will finally realize. Does everyone have visions at some point? Mother Mira, most people will, but a few will not. What is the best technique of meditation? Mother Mira, there are so many techniques. Generally, they confuse people. Quite often, they increase people's spiritual pride instead of destroying it. The proud man is far from God. You have to be very careful. The best way is to remember the divine in everything and to offer everything to the divine. Is there something we can do to transform our dream and sleep states so that they become more a part of our practice? Mother Mira, if we practice japa while we are awake, this can carry over into the dream state. We can pray to the divine for help in this. What do you think of the practice used in many religions of thinking that oneself is God? Mother Mira, to say, I am God, is not good. Only when we merge in the divine can we say this. As long as we have our own thoughts, feelings, desires, then it is not right. Sometimes I imagine my cells or my heart opening to the light. Are such imaginings helpful? Mother Mira, no. It is better to be silent. Through practicing such imaginations, you are building illusions and may find yourself in an illusory world. It is better to go directly for the essence. Some people who imagine that they are divine get obsessive delusions that they are God. Then they may act aloof and stop working and so forth. It is healthier to keep one's devotion to God. Particularly during the Kali Yuga, this present age, it is better for most people to keep the dualistic standpoint, devotion to the divine. Then at the highest level, Atvaita, Non-dualism naturally comes.